All aboard. Here we are once again at the lovely corner of Glenwood and Lunt. And it's the very sunny corner of Glenwood and Lunt. You're here for another edition of Live from the Heartland Radio. And this is Michael James, host for this morning's edition of Live from the Heartland. Uh, we have a really nice lineup. We're going to bring Dave Laser up a little bit later on. He's a folk singer, a piano tuner, and a man about town. He's going to talk about an upcoming benefit at the Heartland. Not a benefit, but a party, a birthday party for our late great friend Tom Dundee. And we're going to have Paula Bowie. She's a Loyola student activist and president of the Loyola Oxfam chapter. And we're going to start off the show today with a wonderful fellow named Kevin Thornton, who's got a little show up there at the Heartland Studio Theater called Sex, Dreams, and Self-Control. Good morning to you, Kevin. Hello, hello. It's good to be here. Kevin, uh, what brings you to Chicago? I know you're a Midwest guy. You come out of Indiana, but you're living down there in Nashville. You used to have a band. Maybe you still do have a band. Uh, it's a new wave band called Wave on Waves, and now you're doing comedy and theater. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, well, it's I mean, it's kind of a natural progression um, over the past few years. Um, I went to school for theater performance. and uh, Where did you do that? At Ball State in Indiana, like maybe... Oh, hey. these guys, yeah. Our videographer's a ball stater. Uh, and, um, okay. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been experimenting at open comedy open mics uh, for a while and uh, been working on this kind of autobiographical show, and I figured it was just time to go for it. So I just, I just wrapped up uh, a month in Los Angeles, and I'm doing a, a month here in Chicago, and it's going pretty well. How long has this show been going on? Um, I've been doing it full time for about s six months. And before that, you were a rock and roll musician. Uh, on the road, full time with my band. And tell us a little bit about your band. Yeah, um, it's called Waves on Waves. Um, it definitely is kind of a throwback to some uh, '80s music, Tears for Fears, uh, a little uh, George Michael and Culture Club, even. Uh, but it's a, uh, you know, it's 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 kind of a new wave pop rock. Uh, you know, three-piece rock and roll band. Uh, what's your first love here? Uh, your your band and keeping that going, or your uh, new theater career? Oh, I don't know. That's a hard question. Uh, That's why I asked. Yeah, <laughs> tough questions this morning. I can't tell you the last time I was awake at this hour. Cause That's because this show, which <laughs> is at the Boho Theater in the Heartland Studio right. at 7016 North Glenwood, is uh, the Late Show. It's a double bill, and there's something else playing up there. There is. Do you know what it is? It's called the... M oh, I'm going to mess it up. I think it's the Millionaire Farmer. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. <laughs> that's that's a rarity, a Millionaire Farmer these days. Well, maybe not. Uh, there's some of them that got it. So you, what time does your show start? My show starts at 11.30. Oh, so you got a late night crowd. It is a late night crowd for sure. And how long does it last? It's 90 minutes. 90 minutes. So you're walking out of there at like 1 o'clock in the morning. And they walk right down the street to the Red Line Tap. Sometimes. And to the Dukes, all these places on Glenwood. Yeah, you just make an evening of it. And, uh, Lowell, let's tell us a little bit about this. It's autobiographical. Yeah. And uh, you put it together uh, while you were touring with your band. I and did. And you had some free time. Uh, again, everyone who wants to know, the name of the show is, I'm having trouble with my glasses. I can tell it uh, to you. Sex, I know it by Sex, Dreams, heart. and Self-Control. Sex, Dreams, and Self-Control. Tell us about it, and then... Yeah, well, you know, I didn't really set out to write a show, per se. Um, there's just a lot of time when you're on the road. There's a lot of time sitting in the van, or there's a lot of waiting, you know. <laughs> it's very uh, not glamorous, you know. Um, so I'd, I'd been writing a lot of short stories. Um, just on a whim, really, one day I took one of my short stories to uh, an open mic and just read it. Um, and the room just really lit up. Um, and I think I realized right then that I was maybe on to some, maybe it was more than just a, a written short story. It was possibly a live performance piece. So I kind of just kept going to the open mics and reading my short stories and uh, kind of workshopped it live in front of a, cr you know, in, in front of a crowd. So within a few months I had a full performance piece and, uh, I felt like what was going to take it to the next level really was to write an entire score of original music to go with it. So it kind of, um, it's an unusual mix of stand-up comedy, storytelling, um, and a live concert. So I, I've kind of blended those three things together. Um, 
Well, you told me that some of it, uh, or a lot of it, really, we couldn't do on the radio. So it's a little bit out there. It is out there. Yeah, it's and it's it, not for everyone. <laughs> and uh, in the in the advanced promo I read in some interviews, it talked about you had uh, achieved some notoriety in the gay community for your band. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the theme besides uh, sex and dreams and self-control? Can you give us a little hint about what goes on in the sure, play without yeah. getting us uh, in trouble with the FCC? No. Oh, you know, well, I, I mean, this <laughs> it, it wouldn't get you in trouble. You know, really, <laughs> the even though I present it on the bolder side, the the message of the story is actually really good. And I think, unless you're just easily offended, most people could find themselves enjoying this show. But it's largely about my experience growing up in a really conservative Christian uh, atmosphere and discovering my sexuality in that. So, um, Well, that's something that happens to a lot of people. And, uh, you know, i got to say, as someone who uh, is a little bit older, the, the, the rapid transition to people acknowledging that and having uh, gay kids in my own family, some of my kids, uh, it's, things have changed a whole lot. Uh, how, can you compare uh, what it was like growing up to what you think it might be like growing up today? I mean, and not that uh, we're in a new place completely, but certainly there are, the issues are on the table in yeah. many ways. No, I think, you know, it's. I was discussing this with, with someone yesterday. It is amazing how quickly our culture has changed. Um, I mean, it really is. And I, I, I sort of grew up in the late 80s, early 90s was kind of my coming of age period. And I could never have imagined when I was 16, 17, I- admitting anything about my sexuality, um, especially in a small town in Indiana. Um, but today I read about you know kids in high school completely open and accepted. I can't imagine what that would have been like. Uh, it definitely, that was not my landscape in, in the late 80s. Uh, you're listening to Live from the Heartland. It is the 2nd of May uh, in the year 2009, the first year of Barack Obama's presidency. presidency. And we are talking with Kevin Thornton, whose uh, show Sex, Dreams, and Self-Control is playing at the Boho Theater at Heartland Studio, 7016 North Glenwood, and it's going to run this weekend and next weekend. Uh, Kevin, you got this guitar here with you. Yeah. How about uh, we uh, talk you into doing us a little uh, little tune? Sure thing. Get ready, everybody. Here it comes. Kevin Thornton. Ooh, oh, yeah. This is the end of the beginning. Oh, no. Now the hymns of night are the sad dreams you can't control. Once your mother told you when I help you in the slightest, you want her to stay with you to tell you it will be all right, but who will make it all right? Mm-hmm. can take it fast or take it slow take it slow in the morning you might cry but tonight just let it go what your mother told you will not help you in the slightest you want her to stay with you to tell you Make it all right, we'll make it all right, who will make it all right? Mm-hmm. Very nice, very nice. Kevin Thornton. 